Right, so we're going to talk about Pythagoras theorem. Okay, now you come across Pythagoras from time to time in some of the exam questions. This is fairly typically GCSE about grade C and the questions are usually worth maybe three marks, something like that. And what Pythagoras theorem says is that if I square this side and that side, it will equal the total of the square of this side. Okay, now it only works with right angle triangles, and to write it out mathematically, what we say is a squared, which is this side, plus b squared, which is this side, equals c squared, which is this side. Okay, now you can kind of easily prove that really. You could say that uh, we use something called a 3 4 5 triangle, so we said side A is 3 squared plus side B is 4 and then squared equals side C. Let's say it was 5 squared. So if I substitute A, B, and C for the numbers 3, 4, and 5, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16. 5 squared is 25, and 9 plus 16 is 25, so 25 equals 25. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And you can use this sort of question, uh, this sort of uh, theory, to be able to answer all sorts of questions. One of the um, kind of practical questions that you're going to get at GCSE uh, C level will go along the lines of something like this. So it's going to give you a triangle, and it's going to say, um, want you to find this length here, so length x. And the height of this particular triangle is 4 centimetres, and the length is 11 centimetres. Okay, so I'm going to call that um, A, and I'm going to call that B, and I'm going to call that C. Okay, so... Um, a squared or a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So I can plug my numbers in. So I've got a squared, which is 4 squared, is there, plus b squared, which I don't know, it's that dimension there, it's x squared, equals this side, which is 11 squared. Okay, so I'll just work those out just because it might be a little bit easier. So 4 squared is 4 times 4, which is 16, plus x squared equals 11 squared, which is 11 times 11, which is 121. So I've got 16 plus x squared equals 121. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 16 from both sides, and I'm going to get x squared equals 121. 5, okay, so therefore x equals the square root of 105, because I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I've got x squared there, so I'm going to square root that, which becomes x, I'm going to square root that side, which becomes the square root of 105, and the square root of 105 is around about 10.2 centimetres, so the value of x would be 10 point two centimetres. And a question like that would be round about, as I say, C grade, probably about three mark, marks, something like that. I uh, hope that's fairly easy. Um, it's probably not going to get any more difficult than that, but um, if you want to stop the video and work your way through it, then hopefully that'll give you a good indication of Pythagoras theorem.